Modern industry, new technologies, and the rapidly increasing demand for clean water is depleting the scarce resource at an alarming rate. Inadequate and mostly obsolete technology has not been able to address the ever-increasing stream of pollutants discharged in our water and soil. Over the past 12 years, our scientists and engineers addressed this issue by radically rethinking the way wastewater is being processed. Original design for the decontamination of highly polluted soil became apparent that the real challenges lay in the processing of its wastewater. Our soil cleaning system represents the state of the art having successfully decontaminated more than 600,000 metric tons. Let's take a closer look how this technology works. Air, water and our custom formulated surfactant are injected under high pressure into a highly modified dumpster truck. After the cleaning chamber is flooded, the soil decontamination starts using 1000 cubic feet of air per minute at 60 psi. This system processes 40 metric tons an hour. For soil with high concentrations of VOCs, the chamber is sealed in and flooded with ozone, breaking down any airborne pollutants and forcing them back into the wash water. After 30 to 45 minutes of cleaning, the soil is ready for reintegration in it into a clean environment. All pollutants have now been successfully transferred and are now present in the process water. This is achieved by bioreactors, as seen here in its first prototype. Special design systems address different needs, as seen here with our smaller 15 tons an hour units. This second generation bioreactor can adapt to any pollution stream in a matter of hours. Here's a comparison of bioreactor input to your right and output to your left. Since our system is fully aerobic, meaning relying on oxygen, specially developed and patented aerators are used eliminating air compressors. The same R&D team produces our revolutionary ozonators. Let's have a look at our latest flagship bioreactor, seen here at the Tyson Food Plant in Springdale, Arkansas. This food processing research facility uses 75,000 gallons a day of the most diverse and difficult waste stream. As a matter of fact, 14 companies before us have failed with this waste stream in a matter of hours. We have successfully processed the entire stream for the fuel duration of the 45-day test, including a 100-gallon hydraulic fluid spill. The entire system is fully computer controlled from a single flat panel touchscreen or laptop that can be located anywhere in the world accessing and controlling the bioreactor via the internet. All controls are governed by an artificial intelligence unit, monitoring more than 100 parameters a second, learning the specifics of the waste stream. The 
bioreactor is continuously thinking and learning.